what brings you to the conference and things like that. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to run through uh, CG Scholar and how to engage in the conference um, sort of generally and then more specifically uh, your role as an emerging scholar, well, whether you're online only or blended in person. Clearly, I need another coffee this morning. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'll start off by introducing myself. I'm Tamsin Gilbert. I am Research Network Producer at Common Ground Research Networks. Uh, sort of my role in this conference is as conference producer. Um, so along with my colleague Kayla, we're sort of organized, oh, I'll let Sean in before I keep going. Um, uh, we're organizing this conference. I will be there in Ireland uh, in a week and a half. It seems like it's coming up pretty quickly. Um, Kayla, did you want to introduce yourself? Sure, yeah. Um, I'm Kayla Ryan. I am an assistant conference producer at Common Ground Research Networks. And so, yeah, I've also been helping out with the conference. Thanks, Kayla. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read your names in no particular order other than the order that the rectangles appeared on my screen in Zoom. Um, and maybe you can say a little bit about yourself. So Jenna, you're my first uh, sort of Brady Bunch rectangle there. Perfect. Hi, everybody. My name is Jenna Bludorn. I am a doctoral candidate in Media and Communication Studies at Indiana University of Pennsylvania um, here in the United States. I am also serving as digital marketing lead for an agency here, um, which means I just run sales and business development for the agency. Um, I will be in person in Ireland. I'm going a little early. I'm like baking a vacation of this whole ordeal. So Excellent. I'll be going next week um, with some of my family and then I will be there both days. Great. Nice to meet you, Jenna. Um, and also, please uh, correct me if I mispronounce your names. Is it Layla or Leela? Oh, sorry, we can't hear you. We need to unmute you. It is in the middle. It's Layla. Okay, thank you, Layla. I, I want to get it right, so please correct me if I get it wrong. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Leila Kubesh. I am in the U.S. in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm excited to be there in person for the first time in Ireland. I'll be there two days before just to make sure there's no jet lag. Um, so looking forward to it. I am a public school teacher and uh, I'm also the teacher of the year. Um, but I, and I believe my success has been working with the media and how so I'm going to be sharing case studies to promote this and for other uh, attendees. Fantastic. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Yi? Hi. Um, so it's, yeah, so I, it's like E, like the letter, but it doesn't e. matter that much. My apologies. No, it does That's matter. Okay. Thank, thank you for correcting me. Um, so I am a fifth year. PhD student in English at Brandeis, which is in Massachusetts. And I'm going in person, so I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, and I really interested in media theory and I'm also interested in um, early America and specifically the New England Puritans and their media. Fantastic, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Anita, you're my next rectangle here. Hi, um, I'm also in the US right now, but I'm, I'm based in Madrid, Spain, uh, usually, um, where I just finished my second year of uh, master's in research methodologies and social science. But um, I before that, I did a bachelor's degree in media studies here in Massachusetts at Hampshire College. Um, and I'm going to be online uh, moderating different sessions, and I'm also going to be presenting a paper that I wrote on online cross-dressing and social media platforms. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> that's me. Thanks, Anita. You nice know that we're having all. the conference next year in Madrid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and there was actually a bit of a mix up with uh, that because I like didn't know, well, whatever. I, I like apply it to both things. I, I oh, okay. and then there was a huge, well, hopefully up, you can but... come in person next year. Yeah. I would love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Great. Nice to meet you. Uh, Michael. Sorry. I caught you right as you were copying. Oh, me. <laughs> it's okay. uh, hi everyone. My name is Michael. Lechuga. I'm an assistant professor at 
University of New Mexico and Albuquerque, New Mexico, so also in the US. Um, I am really interested in settler colonial media practices, in particular, uh, those that are contemporary expressions of settler colonial uh, political logic and things. That's what I'll be presenting on and um, hoping to meet other folks with similar interests. And of course, you know, happy to be there in Ireland like everybody else. Fantastic. Um, Amulia, Amulia, you're my next rectangle. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. My name is Amulya Rajapa. I'm a doctoral candidate at Christ University of Bangalore, India, but currently I'm based in uh, Tallahassee, Florida, uh, where I'm a Fulbright Scholar at the Florida State University, uh, School of Communication at Florida State University. Uh, I'm also an independent journalist. My research interests uh, lie mostly with internal migration and media, uh, the confluence of internal migration and media um, in India. So I'll be attending the conference online. Unfortunately, I can't be there in person due to some uh, visa restrictions. My full ride terms don't allow for it currently. So really excited to uh, kind of connect with such a diverse bunch of scholars and uh, looking forward to learning a lot from all of you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Erwa, Erwa, you're my next rectangle there. Can you hear me? Uh, well, you might need to unmute yourself if you, we can't hear you. Perhaps we'll just move on to the next one and we'll hope that you can uh, connect properly. Um, Neda, Neda, you're my next person there. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, yeah. Uh, my name is Neda Johambani. I am a master's student at NYU. I'm studying media and cultural communication. I'm currently applying to my PhD. Um, and I want to study anthropology with kind of the lens of media and how um, TikTok has become kind of an informal diplomacy platform and how political changes have been happening there. Um, I'm going to actually be presenting my um, work on Iranian mobility and masculinity at the conference, and I'm really excited to be there in person. Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you, Neda. Nice to meet you. Uh, Sean, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm uh, Sean Hickey. I'm a recent graduate of politi political communications at Goldsmiths University in London. Um, I live and work in London in uh, digital media. And yeah, my research interests are in uh, political soft power in um, mainstream and new media. And I'll be presenting on, on um, on a research I did uh, for my postgraduate studies um, based on the uh, soft power discourses between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland and whether that influences um, uh, historically opposed communities in Northern Ireland to the prospect of Irish unification. And I'll be doing that in person in Galway, which I'm very much looking forward to. Thanks, Sean. Nice to meet you. Um, Essien, Essien, are you there? Would you like to introduce yourself, if you can? Yes. Introduce myself. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, my environment is quite dark now, so can I maintain that off uh, video? Status? Yes, that's perfectly fine. We understand. Uh, okay. All right. Um, my name is Essien. Essien Oko from um, Nigeria, and um, I am a first class graduate of mass communication and research, and I'm, a, I'm currently a prospective, um, a prospective um, master student heading to um, the Eastern Illinois University in the United States of America. And, oh, you're not, uh, that's not too far about, from uh, where Taylor research. and I are. <laughs> Hello? I said yeah. Eastern Can Illinois is not too far from where we are. Continue, sorry to cut you off. Oh, wow, that's good to know. Wow, that's very good to know. And I'll be presenting a research framework um, post during the poster session in um, 
uh, during the conference on the topic of dissecting the roles of the media towards global transition, where I'll be um, considering the problem of disinformation that is um, contributing to the um, to um, emerging crimes like terrorism and violent protests in the sub-Saharan Africa. And um, not just that, I am very excited that I will was nominated for the Meijing Scholar Award. And I look forward to learn a lot from this conference and to connect very much. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sorry, um, I think we might have, ha have some connection troubles here. So I'm a, I can only hear a little bit of what you're saying. Forgive me. Um, uh, Erwa, Erwa, are you there and able to introduce yourself? <laughs> Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry, I was praying. I was, I was fasting also. So it's um, 7.30 p.m. over here. Uh, my name is Dr. Arwa. I am from United Arab Emirates, United Dubai, Arab Emirates. Dubai, and enjoying the summer over here <laughs> and trying ways to run away. So um, I look forward being in the conference. Uh, I'm also one of the selected emerging scholars uh, for the second time. Um, last year, because of COVID, I was not able to attend. This year I look forward to and yes, like the others, I will be also arriving soon, as soon as I get the visa. And I look forward to meeting to other emerging scholars in advance yeah. before the conference. Thank you, Owen. Nice to meet you. Um, Same here. Um, so what I'm going to do now, everyone, is I'm going to share my screen. Sorry, this always takes me a second. <laughs> Um, and I'm hoping that you, uh, Kayla, maybe give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Uh, thank you. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through uh, CG Scholar and how to engage in the conference. Um, I'm going to firstly go through a little uh, introduction into sort of a few things like how to update your profile, how to access the event schedule, um, sort of outline things there. And then I'll go into the specifics of how um, to engage in the conference um, through the microsite. Um, I'll do a little description of how to engage as the Emerging Scholar in both a blended in-person context um, and online only. Um, but the blended um, in-person Emerging Scholars will of course also meet uh, the day before the conference at 3 p.m. I'm just waiting on a room number um, at the university that we can meet. Um, and I'll get back to you with that. And we can go through the rooms and the venue and then you'll feel comfortable with the space and know where you're going and all that type of stuff. Um, so you will all by now seeing the conference website. Um, there's many ways to get to the program um, and the event schedule and the microsite. Um, so the first way is to just click this button here on the uh, website there and you'll end up at the microsite. The second thing is if you're in cgscholar.com, if you're not logged in, it'll ask you to log in in the top right here. I'm already logged in, so I can go ahead and go to my profile. And that's the first thing I'll show you today. Um, so you, everyone has a profile page that looks like this. Um, you can go and update your profile by just going to this sort of like golden yellow bar here um, and uh, clicking on profile. I highly recommend that you update this information and add an image. Um, what will happen is, your name in the conference program will be a hyperlink that will send people to this profile. Um, they can add you as peers. So you can see I've got peers here. Um, this is my list of peers. Um, and so, um, and connect with you that way. And so if you have updated information, um, that's also what appears uh, when they go ahead and click on your name there. Um, I have uh, many communities. You will definitely have the um, communication and media studies um community he here in your list of communities um because you automatically get added to that community when you registered for the conference i'll go ahead and click on that community and this is kind of like a group page um, this is where updates are posted um, this is where you can see the community admins this is where you can see all the other members you can click through to submit and register for the conferences um, and you can, you know, I'm an admin, so I can add updates and things there. Um, I'll just go back to the profile page here. Um, so if I, um, for some reason, I'm interested in another scholar, um, 
I, I can go ahead and add them as a peer and then my list of peers will appear here on, appear here on my page. I need another coffee this morning. Um, I'll take you through the microsite uh, now. Um, there are many ways to get to the conference microsite. The first way is by just clicking on event here. Um, and it'll be there, the, all of our conferences are in uh, time chronological order. Uh, there. Um, so it's the first one that's coming up next in a couple of weeks. Another way you can do that is by going under your name in the top right here and going to your events. Um, my events are going to look a little different to your events because <laughs> I'm registered for all the events. Um, but what you can see here is uh, the conference that I'm registered for. If you have a proposal, obviously I've done a test here and rejected my own proposal. Um, but you can see here that if you have a proposal, your proposal number and status will be there. Your registration number will and status will appear here. You can download a res receipt there. Um, as you, here you can see that my registration for another conference is listed as pay later. Yours will all be fine because you were registered as Emerging Scholars. Um, if you have a proposal, you'll have a manage proposal button here. Um, and um, that will take you directly to your presenter, uh, your presenter page. I'll just show you that quickly, um, but I'll show you other ways to get there as well. But this will take you directly to yours. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. I'm going to close that tab so we don't have too many tabs open. So this is the about page on the event microsite. As you can see, it's telling you about the conference. Um, so we have the special focus themes there. You can click on these links to get more information about the book imprint and the journals. And this link here will take you back to that website that I was at before. Um, here where it says submit a proposal, this will be your presenter page, which is the one I just previously showed you. I don't have a proposal for this conference. Um, it is, it'll, instead, it will say your proposal here. This is the page where you scroll to the bottom and you add your digital media for the conference. Now, whether you're an in-person blended emerging scholar or an online only emerging scholar, we ask you to add digital media. Um, this means that the online only delegates um, sort of have a richer experience in that they can see everyone's presentations. Um, your digital media can be a variety of different things. You could upload images if they're sort of helpful to your, you know, a PDF of images. You could upload a PowerPoint presentation with a voiceover. Um, you can embed a YouTube or a Vimeo video, which is a video of you presenting. If you do this, I find the easiest way to create the video is just to open a Zoom meeting with yourself and record. Um, uh, and also it's doing that kind of acts as a good sort of run through to sort of practice before you get there on site if you're presenting in person. Um, if you're an online only delegate and you're presenting uh, and, and you have a proposal, you are required to upload digital media. So um, yeah, so please upload it. <laughs> um, it goes through a, a review process. Um, so, uh, and it won't appear on your page um, until two things happen, until it's been reviewed and accepted and you're gonna, you'll get an email uh, confirming that it's been accepted. And secondly, it will not appear until the discussion boards open, which is the day before the conference. Um, so look out for those two things. We often get uh, emails that say, you know, my digital media has been accepted and it doesn't appear on my page. And it's because the discussion boards are not open yet. Um, your registration is exactly what it sounds like. It's details of your registration. Um, it will have any details of your special events there. So, if, for example, you signed up for a tour, um, then it will appear there too. Presentations I'm going to come back to in a, just a moment so I can go into a little bit more detail there. Special events tab is exactly what it sounds like, signing up for special events. Um, so you can, oh, let me, uh, it seems it was been... Uh, out of the meeting and is coming back. Um, uh, you can go ahead and just, you know, choose the quantity there and then press select. Um, if it's if it's a no charge event like the welcome reception, it's just because we need numbers to know how many people are coming. Uh, so I recommend you go through the process and sign up there. Um, now presentations. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and click on that. Oh, it seems my internet's gone a little slow all of a sudden. Maybe I should close my emails down. Sorry, one moment. Close everything that's not helpful. 
One question. Um, Can I ask a question about the special events? Yes, go ahead. Sorry, I'm not, I can't see you. So I'm not sure who's talking to me, but it's, yes. It's ahead. Anita. Um, Hi, Anita. Just, so the, the people who are attending online, uh, yes. Are the special events only in person or are they on, also No, we online? have, I'll go through them. I'll go through them. Yeah. So we have an online welcome reception. Oh, which I is see. Sorry. Online only. It's fine. And this I blended see. conference training session is, uh, I'll, I'll tell you as I get through the pro program, cool. but we do have an online only welcome reception. We also have an online only tour. Um, oh, cool. And so we do have some online only uh, special events as well. So. Thank you. No worries. Thanks, Anita. Um, so I'll go back to presentation. Sorry. And also, please tell me to slow down if I'm talking too quickly. Um, I'll send this video around later if I, um, you know, if you need to rewatch it. Following, I'll get a little, I'll, I'll go into details about, about that as we go through the event schedule. Um, but basically, you can follow presentations and they will appear in this following tab. Um, featured presentations. These are your presentations. These are our emerging scholars. We've chosen to feature these presentations. Um, so if anyone, um, and sorry, the following tab will be custom to you. Not, a, you know, everyone will not have the same presentations that, that they're following. Everyone has the same featured tab. So your presentations are featured for everyone um, who's registered for the conference. By theme, if for example, you're only interested in seeing presentations, but for the special focus, you can go ahead and uh, scroll down to the special focus theme here. Wait, we have to go to media business. Um, and you can see all the presentations uh, of people that are, um, uh, have, uh, have uh, um, signed up for the special focus. Um, let's, for example, say I'm interested in Jim's presentation here. I can go ahead and click on the title, read his abstract, and this is where his digital media will appear here um, at the bottom of this page. Um, if, for example, I want to follow Jim's presentation, I can click that button here. Um, I can see that it's a themed panel. Um, and if I'm, I can do uh, view his profile one of two ways. First of all, by clicking on his name here, there's Jim. Um, I can go ahead and add him as a peer by clicking that button there. I can also go back and click his name just here and it will take me in a new tab to his profile page, which is right there. Um, scrolling back up to the top. Um, if I, for example, I'm only inter interested in workshop presentations, this tab is by type. So these are themed paper presentations. I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna see if there's, I'm, said workshops now there's probably no workshops but let me scroll down and have a look yep there's three workshops so I might only be interested in these three workshops if I'm interested uh, in workshops specifically if I'm interested in poster presentations I can scroll down to the poster uh, session section there um, alphabetical is exactly what it sounds like it's alphabetical <laughs> um, so now I'm going to go to the schedule sorry I can see that um, SCN did you have a question that you wanted to ask before I go any further. Uh, yes, I? I do have a, I have a question, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Can I go on to ask? Sorry. Right, thank I... you very much, Tamsin. And um, can you hear me now? I can hear you, sorry. I think I there's a bit of a delay. Okay, all right. My question is for those of us, um, for okay, like a presenter like me who has a co-presenter, and then I'll be and then I'm um and I'll be nominated for the um emerging scholar award, and then it's going to be online. Mine is online emerging scholar. How are we going to participate so much in the activities of the conference? Is our presentation just going to be left on uh, for discussions alone? How are we going to follow up? I'll is that not going to be a kind of a virtual presentation? Yep, I'll go. I'll go through that in a Hello. minute as I go through. The, can you? Sorry, I, sorry, SCN, forgive me. I think that the connection is a is not great, and there's a bit of a delay between my response and you uh, talking. But as we go through the event schedule now, which is what I'm showing you, I'll describe in detail how the online only okay. participation works. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Erwa, did you also have a question? 
Uh, yes, uh, the ones who are presenting online, they will be uploading their presentation or a video. But the ones in person, what I understand, they have uploaded their PowerPoint, but are they required to also upload an online video? It's not required for the blended in-person delegates, but it's highly recommended. So for the online okay. only delegates, it's required. Mm -hmm. For the blended in-person delegates, it's recommended. Okay, so when is the deadline of? Because uh, I it's think one, I will upload it's, it. It's honestly, it's uh, it's one week prior to the conference. But if you were to upload it two, <laughs> if if you were to upload it two days before the conference, we would be fine with that too. It's just that we okay. have to we have to review it, so we need some time to review um, what's uploaded. Okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll stay in touch with you regarding that. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And if you have any trouble, let me know. Um, so I'll just go through this event schedule now and hopefully we can provide a little bit more clarity on your role in the conference. So this is the pre-conference day. Um, for those people signed up for the walking tour, it's um, I, you'll receive a special email about where to meet and all that type of stuff the day before. This blended conference training session, where it says here, live, online only. So this is a Zoom session um, that is run by myself and Kayla. It is exactly what we're doing now, basically. Um, so we're going through the microsite, telling people how to engage, showing people how to, up to update their profiles, um, how to comment in the discussion boards. You're not required to attend that session. Um, if you feel like I've gone too fast today um, and you need more clarification on that, feel free to attend. Um, this. Other session is a special event. This is the online only welcome reception. As you can see, it says live online only. This is a really nice session. Um, it is sort of an informal uh, welcome and gathering. Um, so we do much like we did today. Uh, we sort of go around the rectangles of Zoom and we introduce ourselves. Um, Kayla or I typically put people's, the link to people's presentation pages in the chat during that session. Um, that means that other delegates who attend that session can go ahead and follow uh, your presentation. Um, we like to discuss the special focus, um, introduce ourselves and Mario, who is the research network chair will be attending uh, that session. Um, so I'll use this as an example. We can go ahead and click on the title of that presentation the Zoom link for any uh, sessions that are online, that are live online, will be added here one week prior to the conference. As you can see, there's a discussion board. Um, so for each session, there's a discussion board. The discussion board is not open yet. So I'm going to click on the tab and it's going to tell me it's not open till August the 22nd. But that is where you can ask questions um, and discuss there if you're unable to if you're unable to attend the session, there will be a video recording of that session uploaded at the bottom of this page, uh, sort of, you know, within an hour or two after the session. Let's go to day one. So uh, for those attending in person, you can see that it says NIU, N NUI Galloway. Um, so the registration and coffee is open at eight o'clock on that day. Um, if you could come around eight o'clock, um, that's great. Um, and I'll talk to you more about that um, on the day before the conference. Um, this conference welcome and opening, see it says online, our online only delegates can go ahead and attend that session by clicking on the title. Um, the Zoom link will be uploaded here. There is the same Zoom link for every online session, uh, online live online session throughout the conference. And it is actually the Zoom link that you're on right now. Um, we have, um, we just create one for the whole conference to avoid any confusion. Um, so you can, the plenary session, if you're an online only uh, online only emerging scholar and you're unable because of the time zone or time difference, um, that video will be uploaded at the bottom of this page following the session. Then we have talking circles. As you can see, some of you have been assigned as moderators to these talking circles. Um, we'll go into a little bit more detail um, about the talking circle format um, when we, uh, when we meet the day before the conference, but it's actually a really nice session. And like I kind of said before, it's informal. We just introduce ourselves. The delegates pick which room they're gonna to go to based on their interest in the themes. So we kind of split the themes up this talking circle that you've been assigned to Jenna. There'll be delegates who are interested in media cultures and media theory. They'll in this one, 
um, you know, there'll be delegates uh, who are interested in media technologies and processes as well as media business. Um, and then the room numbers are here. Um, then we get into the sessions. Um, as you can see, Michael is assigned to this session. Um, so we'll go into more detail about this as we go in, but you need to make sure that you the, the sessions that you're assigned to as moderator, um, that you're in that session in Galway, uh, in room 107 at this time. Um, each presenter has 20 minutes to present. We do not do questions in the room uh, in, after each presentation. We have 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. This session will finish at 12.30 but then you see that we have an extra 15 minutes. We do that 15 minutes together. All these three presenters have 15 minutes at the end to, to have question and answer together. This ensures that we don't get stuck at the first presentation and we never move to the second presentation. Um, it is also nice in the sense that these uh, sessions are themed together under the, under the theme presentation of complex shifts. Um, so, as the emerging scholar there, Michael, you might actually ask the first question. You might say, oh, I see a lot of connections between Brady's presentation and Amber's presentation here. Um, so you might pose that, you know, a first question about those connections. Um, for the online only emerging scholars, you can go ahead and click on the title of the presentation here. And, uh, you know, you can go ahead and view Eric's uh, digital media there. Um, if you want to discuss or ask Eric a question, you could go ahead and click discuss. Now, this discussion board is for complex shifts, which means that it's not one discussion board per presentation. It's one discussion board per themed panel. Um, that way, the same way Michael is in the room, you know, might make a connection between Eric and Amber's presentations. You might also make a different connection or maybe there's no connection and you wanna ask them a question separately. Um, so you can go ahead in the discussion board and do that. On any, on any uh, discussion board where you are a presenter, you will receive an email saying someone has commented in the discussion board. Um, so uh, just so you know, if someone's commented in the discussion board and you get an email, you can go ahead and click on that and you can see if the discussion question is related to you. You can see here that Eric's already uploaded his digital media. So this is the little banner here that appears next to people who have uploaded their digital media. Amber hasn't yet, so she has no uh, little banner there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. And so please take a look at the sessions that you've been assigned to there. Um, we've tried to assign you to sessions, um, obviously not, in the same session as you're presenting. Uh, um, but the featured presentations here, you can see, so Sean, you're the moderator on the session that includes is, includes E's um, session there. Um, for the online only presentations, the role of Emerging Scholar is a little bit different. Um, so you can see that you've been assigned, uh, one second, Michael, I'll just get to you after I finish this uh, and then you can ask a question. Um, you can see that um, Essien has been assigned uh, to this session here. This has uh, new literacies, has four presentations. Um, as an emerging scholar, you are required to view all the digital media um, for the presentations in your session that you moderated and you're required to ask questions in the discussion board. This is your role. So the same way Michael um, is asking questions and fueling discussion in person in Galloway and asking questions to his presenters, your role is to ask questions to your presenters um, as moderator of an online only session. Um, you can go ahead and click on the title and we can see, you know, that we some people have uploaded digital media thus far and some haven't. Um, uh, you can also see here, let's just use Nolan as an example. Sorry, my internet's going a little slow. Trying you. Um, you can also see the number of engagements on the paper. I recommend, uh, so then that's inf useful information to see how many people have seen your presentation. I recommend 
For example, if you're the moderator on a session that you go ahead and follow those presentations, it just means, let's just use uh, Nolan as an example, that you could go ahead and I, you can easily access uh, that presentation again on your follow tab um, right there. Um, I'll go backwards now. Um, uh, I've definitely skipped over something that might be important. Michael, did you want to ask your question while I uh, think about what I might have missed to tell you? <laughs> sure. Uh, my question was just about the in-person events. Am I going to, for example, the this session one. of complex Go. shifts, am I going to also be monitoring the discussion online to bring that into the live discussion? So this is a complicated question and it's up to you. We have found that it's a little bit stressful to do that um, sort of live in the room while you're there. Um, what I, I, I have, you know, had to jump in as an emerging scholar for a session or two. What I like to do is, so you're in the session now, Michael, uh, say we're, we're in the room in Ireland. Um, what I do is I uh, would go to the discussion board and, you know, say, you know, Sam in the room asks, uh, and then maybe sort of annotate it. Um, but I also understand that that, that might uh, sort of impede the flow of discussion and conversation in the room itself. We shouldn't, you know, uh, you know, totally, um, you know, ignore the online part of it, but we uh, also need to, you know, focus on, you know, the flow of conversation in the room. So if it's too much to sort of annotate in the discussion board while, uh, you're in the room there, then, you know, I don't want you to feel overwhelmed by that. Does that make sense? Totally. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anita, did you have a question? Oh, I can't hear you. Sorry. You might be on mute. Yes, I was muted. <laughs> it's about the online. Um, yeah. If you could go back. Um, to the tab, the online the, only tab. The, yeah, the online only. Um so it it doesn't have like specific times. I wanted to ask no, you like so what the it means. online only sessions are asynchronous. Yeah, so I wanted no to ask, specific times. Yeah. I wanted to ask you exactly what it means because I was talking to someone else this whole time by email. That wasn't you. It was uh Tamara, I believe. Yes. Um and I asked Which her, is confusing because our names are similar. <laughs> Yeah, but I wasn't, I, I didn't actually confuse the two of you, but I was um, confused about what asynchronous meant. And I asked her, but I didn't really, uh, still didn't really understand exactly what it meant. Yeah. And like, I wanted to know, like, when we're supposed to be like writing the questions on the discussion so boards. This is, this is a yeah. great question. And I just want to know when I have to be available to do all yes. these things, but you're, and also how long the the yeah. videos are, the media is going to be available so to be the, watched. If, so on asynchronous online only. So these people are all required to upload digital media. There's no live presentation. They're not going to be on Zoom at a time presenting. Um, there's any, nothing like that. So on the this is what I uh, recommend. Um, of course. It depends on time zone, especially if you know you're in the US and we're in Ireland and things like that. Um, the discussion boards open the day before the conference. I recommend you watch the digital media the first day of the conference um, and ask an initial question uh, in the discussion board on that first day. Um, that gives the uh, the presenters time during the conference to respond. Um, and think about your, it also gives you time if you want to respond again on the second day to something that they've written back to um, and keeping that in mind. There is no time that you have to be online for the discussion boards. As the moderator, uh, you will get emails when people comment in the discussion boards. Check your junk mail, sometimes they go there. Um, uh, but there's no specific time for these presentations, but this is just my loose calendar of recommendations that you watch the digital media. Well, you could even start watching it the day before for the conference because it'll be available once the discussion boards open the day before, um, but definitely make your first initial comments on that first day of the conference um, so that the presenters have time to respond to those. Um, I hope that clarifies things. 
Yeah, and I have another question. Go ahead. Um, so, sorry, <laughs> I'm on a roll. No, don't apologize. But, <laughs> but so the the what we're doing as moderators online is mainly asking questions, or could yes. they also be reflections, or like? Yes. What? So this is a this is a also a really good question, and I should have clarified that you can't. I. I, I um, don't go in and see the presentations and just say, Nolan, great presentation, you know, uh, you know, watch, watch the presentations um, and they can be reflections and, or questions, um, but something that's a sort of a little bit uh, more substantial than I enjoyed watching your presentation. Um, and this means that people can, it also means that other presenters in the panel sort of think about why they've been themed together um and sort of making connections there but it, yes it can be a reflection or a, or a question that you'd like to ask Perfect. I hope thank you so much <laughs> uh Leila did you have a question I thought I saw your hand up I do um if I can put my video so I have some questions um Go ahead. can we uh are these presentations are going to be recorded for those who are live? For the people who are live, we don't record them in the room. The only sessions that are recorded are the plenary sessions in the on site. Um, that's why we ask the blended in person people who are there on site to upload their digital media ahead of time. And then when we are doing present, uh, doing the questions, uh, and mm -hmm. if we are in an area that maybe we don't have as much expertise, like my expertise is usually culture and here I'm in the technology part. So can I prepare the questions in advance or? Yeah, you can go ahead and prepare the questions in advance and read, you know, read the abstracts um, and look at the digital media if that makes you more comfortable. I also, if I'm in a session that I'm maybe chairing or the moderator, like an emerging scholar, um, and I might, I might have a, just a very general question to, to kick things off, but then also don't be afraid to just say, does anyone have a question? <laughs> you know, okay. you might not have anything. So, you know, feel free to put other people on the spot. Uh, uh, but definitely read the abstracts in advance and, and think about some questions ahead of time and even some general questions that could help you out um, if you don't, if you're not necessarily 100% uh, comfortable with that uh, session. I would like to point out that if, for example, let's just use Sean and Michael as an example here, it's at the same time slot. Maybe Michael feels like he's more interested in global perspectives and Sean might be more interested in pro viewpoints. Um, feel free to just, you know, reach, I'll create a WhatsApp group with all of us shortly, but um, feel free to just, you know, reach out and say, do you want to switch? Um, and it's easy for us to say, yeah, you're in the same, same time slot, let's just switch rooms. Um, so um, that's now's the time that we can do that because we've still got time to switch uh, people around if for some reason, you, you know, you might be more interested in the other session um, or maybe you're not, but uh, yeah, that's just another suggestion there. Uh, Leela, did you have another question? Yes, uh, can we connect with the presenters and, and um, ask the questions in advance to put their mind at ease or to help them be prepared or no? It's up to you if you wanna do that. Um, so the way to do that would be to add them as a peer and then ask the questions. Um, yeah, it's up to you. Um, you know, some people are open to questions in advance uh, and some people don't mind having them on the spot. So uh, yep, yeah, completely up to you. Oh, sorry, I've made my screen. Um, do we also get each other's contact info aside of being doing it here online for those who are going to be there in person? So we are going to create, uh, everyone who is there in person has shared their phone number with me and we're going to create a WhatsApp group with everyone in it. Um, and that is it's a great way to communicate during the conference. Like uh, say you're in a room and the projector's not working. You can go Tans and send help quickly, you know, <laughs> or something like that. Um, also, you know, lunch has been moved to a different location uh, or something, you know, uh, that's a great way to communicate um, there with each other um, during the conference. Are we uh, busy the entire time uh, moderating or is there time, free time where we can uh, visit someone else's moderator. Yeah, so what we've tried to do is we've tried to 
um, evenly space you. I think what's happening happening that we've done so far based on the number of scholars is that you're throughout the conference, you're only moderating two or three sessions. Um, so you shouldn't, you should definitely have, for example, that you're presenting in that one. So that's not a good example, um, but let's look at the second day, like in this first slot here on the second day, you're not moderating or presenting. So you can do whatever you like on that end. You could go to global perspectives or you could go to pro viewpoints or you could go to the workshop, it's up to you. Um, but then in the second session, you're moderating after that. And then after that, after lunch, you're not moderating and you're not presenting. So you can attend either of these two sessions. So we haven't kept you all busy the whole time. Um, otherwise it just becomes, I think a bit too much um, being on. So I think what, what it, the way it's worked out now is that what we've done is assigned you to two or three sessions, depending on how the schedule goes and when everyone's presenting. Do you have a, uh, a recommendation for clothes? Do you want us to dress like for me? Is it as an as a teacher, or do you want me to dress as in in a suit, or can it be a dress? Or it's what? up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable in. I don't. <laughs> um, I'm not. I yeah. We, it's it's completely up to you. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to dress. I will be wearing a shirt and trousers, or maybe a sweater because. I think it's going to be a little chillier there than it is here. <laughs> okay. Um, so maybe a dress if it's, you know, if it's a little warmer, but um, no, it's, it's completely up to you. However you feel most comfortable. Okay. Um, Amulia, did you have a question? Oh, uh, yes. I just wanted to uh, follow up on Anita's questions. Uh, so I just wanted to reconfirm when the uh, digital media is available for us to kind of take a look at. Is it available much before uh, just the day before conference or because I think I am uh, a moderator for about three to four panels online. So I'd want yep. to have enough time to kind of go through all the digital media and prepare the questions. So um, so can you tell me when does that open? Like, can I um, It that? opens on the 23rd of August. So 23rd. the day but Yep. And so one thing as well is that actually, Anita, because we, oh, no, uh, there you are. No, you're not. You are assigned to sessions. For some reason, I thought we hadn't assigned you yet, but we have. Um, uh, yes. So it opens on the 23rd. So you can start watching it from the 23rd onwards. Okay. But the questions you can post only just a day before the conference you're set. The you could forum. you could really start if you have a you know if you watch the digital media and the discussion boards are open on the 23rd and you have a have a question that you need to ask you can go ahead and post it then uh, no one's going to be saying you know that's a bit too early okay thank you oh what did you want to ask a question uh yeah since we were talking about whatsapp group um, would it be, I know we are talking for the in-conference and the requirements over there, but it would be nice if it would be possible if it could be created at least like on 21st, because to get in touch with everybody, uh, especially the ones who will be attending in person would be very, very helpful in conference and out conference. Perfect. So what we can do is if the in online only people don't mind, send me your phone numbers as well and we'll add you to the WhatsApp group. The only problem is that you might catch conversations of us discussing lunch, um, but I, you know, <laughs> as long as you don't mind, that's fine with me. That's fine. And it's actually helpful for us as well if you were uh, during the plenary session. If for some reason, you know, you're online viewing the plenary sessions live, um, and if something's wrong, like you know, the sound's not strong, you could send us a message in the group saying, you know, we're having trouble hearing. Uh, as the online only delegates. And that's a good way for us to, to know the issues that we might not necessarily know otherwise. Okay, let me understand. Do we have two WhatsApp group or one WhatsApp group? In well, we can create, and online or? We can create one or two. It's up to, uh, I'm fine with creating separate ones, but maybe it's easier if we just create a, a single one to not confuse things. Okay, okay. Um, or oh, 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 maybe we'll make, too. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I haven't got to that stage. Um, were there any other questions? I'm going to stop sharing my screen now because you've all. Um, take a look at where you, oh, thanks, 
SEN. I'll grab that. I've got your phone number now. I'll go ahead and put that in my notes before I lose it. Um, feel free to email up Kayla or myself with any questions over the next week. Um, In-person blended emerging scholars, we're going to meet at 3 p.m. Uh, the day before the conference, uh, just at the venue uh, so that uh, we can run through where everything is so you know where you're going. Anita, I've got yours too. Erwa, I'll grab yours in a second. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't lose it here. Um, sorry, everyone, I don't want to lose it. Um, and then Amuna. Sorry, distracted now by phone numbers. And then um, uh, we'll run through the venue. And that's about it for me. Uh, if there's no other questions, hello. I'll say hello. I do. I have a question. Yeah. Go, oh, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't see your hand there. Okay, I have a question. As an um, online uh, scholar. Hello? Hello, yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah as an online uh, attendee or participant of the conference, I really want to follow it, every bit of it, um, videos, apart from recorded videos and all those things. Because um, my, my network locked me out and I'm kind of, and then I missed some of the information you gave. How would I be following the, the, the event step by step? Is it through my um, event uh, portal or um, section of the portal? Or I don't really get how, how would I be watching the event and then probably. So in the, in, the, my... in the event schedule, for those sessions that say NUI Galloway and online, you can click on the title there of the session and you'll find the Zoom link that goes to those sessions. If it doesn't say online, then those sessions are not streamed live online. They're just digital media based for the online only delegates. Did you hear me, Essien? Sorry, I think we're having connection issues. Okay, okay. Sorry, Asin, I'm sorry. Everything's a little bit broken up for me, so I can't hear you very well. An online delegate. Asin, um, perhaps it might be easier if you write your question in the chat and I can read it out. Sorry, I'm just really having trouble hearing you. Sorry about that. Yes, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you too. Essie, and if you um, write your if you write your question in the hello. chat. Hello. But I can. We can't hear you very well. So if you write your question in the chat, um, I'll get Anita to ask her question, and then I might be able to answer your question if you write it in the chat. Anita, did you want to ask something? Yeah, I just just to make sure. Uh, that I got everything correctly. So for yeah. the online um, scholars, what we can do is we, our part is basically uh, writing the, watching all the, all the media of the sessions that we've been assigned to moderate and write mm -hmm. questions on the discussion boards. Mm -hmm. And then we can attend the conference online as normal. And those that have the option for those people to attend online, right? Yes, Is exactly right. Exactly right. right. And then I wanted to ask And then for question. those who are, yes. sorry to cut you off. Yeah, yeah, and then for ahead. those who don't have the option to attend online in that little thing there, they should have digital media. So if you are interested in that gotcha. one, you could go ahead and click and see if Perfect. I have it anyway. Yeah. And if we're not uh, able for me, for instance, there are some things that are going to be happening at like 3 a.m. here. If I can't attend those, uh, I'll be able to watch them later, right? For how exactly long right. will that be available online? Like, could so, I watch it three days after, two days that's after? Another, that's another great question. Um, I'm glad you asked that. Um, so uh, the digital media for each of those will be available 
all indefinitely. So okay. what happens is uh, the discussion boards go on, the digital media becomes visible. What happens then is the digital media sort of is then stays there in the event schedule and it kind of becomes like a time capsule. Um, the discussion boards get turned off one week after they start. Um, so if you watch it the day after the, comment, the conference, you'll still be able to make comments in the discussion yeah. board, but you won't be able to, um, two weeks after the conference, you'll still be able to watch the videos, but you won't be able to comment in the discussion board. Um, so if for some reason there's a session you're really interested in and you just don't have time in that two days, you can watch that um, after the conference. You just might not be able to comment in the discussion board. I'm glad you asked that. Perfect. And one last question about the certificate. Um, how are we, how and when are we getting the certificate? Hey. Um, so the in-person blended emerging scholars will get their certificates in the closing session. The online only emerging scholars will get an email from Kayla the day after the cool. conference with a PDF of their certificates. Got you. Okay. I was really Perfect. worried about the time difference. I was like, yeah, so this is, this, guess... is the, this is largely why we do the asynchronous sessions for the online only yeah. ones, um, because there is, always someone who has to get up at 3 a.m. to present in a live session, right? It just doesn't, and it just doesn't really make sense uh, to do that. And it always, you always favor one time zone over another. Uh, the people in Australia are suffering, you know? Uh, and so uh, that's why we do these asynchronous sessions. Thank Eve, you did so you have much. a question? Yeah, so do, um, are the moderators expected to introduce each um, like person for the focus discussion sections? No. And so also if you're assigned to a focus discussion, um, we'll talk more in details about those sessions when we get on site um, <laughs> because they're a really specific type of presentation. It's not 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. It's sort of unusual. Um, and so uh, we'll talk more about that um, on site when we get there, we're also Great. in the process, a lot of people are transitioning out of focus discussions into the more traditional themed paper presentations. Um, so you might, it might change over the next week where we have less of them. Okay, okay, thanks so much. Um, yeah. No worries, Sean, nice to meet you. Have a nice, have a nice day. Um, I think we all have to hit that point in the day where we have to head off, but it, you know, it's nice to put faces to email addresses and, you know, things like that. And I'm looking forward to um, talking to you all in the next, uh, you know, few weeks and next days. Um, yes, the Emerging Scholar Award is different from the Certificate of Participation, SCN. Um, you'll get that separately. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Kayla and I are on email. Um, so reach out if you need anything from us. So it's looking forward to a great conference. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.